Hello, this is second grade lesson six, and we're going to begin with addition and subtraction. Add or subtract. Number one, we have 84 minus 18. We always have to remember that we have to start with the ones place, which is over here. So four minus eight, and the top number needs to be bigger than the bottom number. But here we can see that four is less than eight, which means that the top number is less than the bottom number. So we're going to have to borrow one tens from eight, the number in the ones place, uh, the tens place, sorry. So eight minus one is seven because we're borrowing one tens from eight. And this four is going to become 10 plus four because we're borrowing one ten. That's four and the one comes down because it doesn't have any numbers below. So that's gonna be 14. So this four now became 14 because we borrowed one tens from eight. 14 minus eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we subtract eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We count how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six left. 14 minus eight is six. And now we're gonna do seven minus one because that eight became seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we subtract one. We're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six dots. So that's the answer is going to be 66. Number two, we have 26 plus 25. Now we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We're adding five. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So because this one is in the tens place, it's bigger than nine, right? It's going to go above the two. So that's going to be one. And we're going to do 1 plus 2, which is 3, plus 2 is 5. So we're adding all the times place. So that the answer is 51. Now, for number 4, we have 90 minus 65. Again, we have to start with 1's place. But then, we can see that 0 is less than 5. We're going to borrow 1 times from 9. 9 minus 1 is 8, and this ten, this, this 0, we're going to do 10 plus 0 over here, equals 0, and the 1 doesn't have any numbers below, so we're going to put 1. So this 0 became 10. 10 minus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to subtract 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. And we have 8 minus 6 over here in the tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we can see that we have 2 left. So the answer is 25. Let's move on. We have using a graph. Answer the questions by below by using the graph. This graph shows um, people's favorite animals. There is dog, cat, elephant, rabbit, and giraffe. So we're gonna try number two. First, so how many people like elephants the most? Let's look at elephant. It's over here. And the number, the bar ends at five if you look at the number right because it ends at five it means that five people like elephants the most now let's try number four how many people in all in all means we have to add right how many people in all liked rabbits or cats so we have to look at where it is cat is over here and the rabbit is over here rabbit and over here which is seven and the cat 
ends over here. The bar for the cat ends over there. And it is 8. So we're going to do 7 plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 people in all liked rabbits or cats. Next page, we have pennies, nickels, and dimes. Write the value of each coin. One penny equals one cent. One nickel equals five cents. Oops, sorry. And one dime equals 10 cents. Now, remembering this and using the information above, count on to find the total amount. To do it easier, we're going to first put the values down. So that's one. A penny is one cent. Another penny and another penny. And he here we have a dime, right? A dime was 10 cents. You put 10. And this one is a nickel, right? That's five. Now we're going to count on. Here we have one. We start with one. We add one. One plus one is two. Here we add one more. That's three. Plus ten. Ten plus three. Zero plus three is three. And the one comes down because it doesn't have any numbers below. That's thirteen. Plus five because the five is over here. 3 plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And so we have 8. And the one comes down again. We have 18. So that's going to be 18. So the total amount, the total number is 18. Okay, word problems. Grace loves to read. She read 16 books last month. She read three novels, one mystery book, seven history books, and some fairy tales. How many fairy tales did she read? Okay. She read 16 last month, right? Three novels, one mystery book, seven history books, and some fairy tales. So we're going to have to find the number of fairy tales. There, was six, there were 16. Let's first add the ones that she read. So she first read three. And one. Three plus one is four. So one, two, three plus one is four. And she read seven history books. So we're going to add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So she read eleven books, um, not including the fairy tales. So we're going to subtract 11. 6 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minus 1. Oops, sorry. That's going to be 5. So 5. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. We don't need to write the 0 down. So she read 6 fairy tales. Fairy tales. Okay, thank you.